Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Quick Guides featuring Aatrox the Darkened Blade. I'm going to quickly go over Aatrox's abilities and then how I build them with footage playing in the background. Aatrox's passive is Bloodwell. Basically, all of Aatrox's abilities cost a percentage of current health, and whenever he uses an ability, the health cost goes into his passive. If he takes a fatal blow, Aatrox will revive with some HP based on how much his Bloodwell is filled. He also gains attack speed with higher Bloodwell. Dark Flight is Aatrox's Q. He jumps up, attacks an enemy in a circular range, and enemies in the center of those pimp pack get knocked up. Blood Thirst slash Blood Price is Aatrox's W. Aatrox can switch between the two passive W abilities. Blood Thirst uh, will heal Aatrox on every third successful auto attack, and Blood Price will cost HP on every third auto, but will uh, allow Aatrox to deal additional damage. Blades of Torment is his E. Basically, he sets out two lines that eventually meet in the middle, slowing and damaging targets hit. Massacre is Aatrox's ultimate. When Massacre is activated, Aatrox deals damage to enemies near him, gains attack range, and attack speed. For runes, I recommend going Attack Damage Marks, Armor Seals, Flat Magic Resistance Glyphs, 2 Lifesteal Quintessences, and 1 Attack Damage Quint. These runes will help you be able to last in the lane, while having really good survivability in the lane against those poke-heavy champions. For Masteries, I recommend going 2190. These Masteries will allow you to be able to kill your opponent as soon as you hit level 3, while being defensive enough against a full-on engage underneath turret. I won't make it too much of an emphasis on the Masteries though, because they're going to get changed in the next coming patch. I also generally like to play Aatrox mid. His skill potential against squishy mages allows him to get really fed off a few kills, and if you get one or two kills in lane, you'll be able to put a lot of pressure on the enemy mid champion. Asking your opponent to come gank your lane at level 3 is also a very good idea, because even if the enemy jungler comes in to counter gank, you should be able to win thanks to your revive passive. This is one of the many reasons I believe Aatrox is quite strong. I personally rank like to max Aatrox's W, but grab E first to both leash for my jungler, since I'm playing mid, and it allows me to farm easily due to its long range. You don't want to go up and melee attack a creep without, uh, with your W, because you won't be able to, you're, well you're going to get harassed in lane by the enemy mid champion. Maxing W will also allow you to deal a lot of damage and heal it for a lot too, but it's mostly based on your preference. If you like easy wave clear you should rank your E, or if you plan on playing Aatrox in the jungle, Q might be your ideal pick. For item builds, I recommend focusing items that give you attack speed and attack damage. This allows you to utilize his W very well, and be able to push really hard when the enemy mid champion, if it's a, if it's a roaming champion, goes to roam to go kill your bot lane or your top lane. In lane, if you're facing an opponent who has a ranged poke, you should generally start out with Doran's shield because it'll help negate some of the damage. And if you're facing an opponent where you, which you can kill really easily, you should probably start Doran's blade so you have the early damage to do so. Your first core item should be Blade of the Rune King, which will allow you to kill any squishy mage that is half HP with a combination of your skills. And the next item should be Last Whisper. This item will help you uh, help you kill even the tankier uh, people, like their jungler or uh, maybe their top laner and also deal nearly true damage to their AD carries, or mid laner. You can talk the build off with some defensive items such as Guardian Angel for the two rebirths, because why the hell not, Zephyr for faster attack speed and tenacity to help negate some of the stuns and slows, or even Ravenous Hydra for more DPS and lifesteal. Uh, all runes and masteries will be linked in the description uh, down below, uh, please check them out if you really think that you should uh, if you, if you really want to follow the build uh, to a core. Um, also, one thing I forgot to mention is that for boots, I generally go for the CDR boots, the Ionian uh, boots. Uh, if the enemy, or like the enemies are just generally not as strong, or they're not just as scary. So I, just, I grab that, so I have my uh, abilities up faster. Or you can grab Minjitabi against mostly AD uh, heavy teams, or even Merc Treads. But I don't, I don't like generally like building Merc Treads on Aatrox because I don't feel like you really need it. Uh, Ninja Tabi or Ionians, in my opinion, is probably your better, is the better choice. I hope you enjoyed this guide. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe uh, for more. I will be coming out with more guides. And have fun playing Aatrox. And make sure you make your opponents witness truth.